All right, we are back to the Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, today is day 155. We just got an EXP boost. And uh, yeah, this is the free to play. We are only pulling mystery shards. We are not pulling any of these uh, because we're gluttons for punishment. That's what we do here. Um, so this was a big weekend. This was a really big weekend, actually. I've been trying to beat the spider. I have been trying to get Armager to uh, six star, and we've been trying to get this fusion, not not the uh, full fusion, but we've been trying to at least get two of the heroes that you know are in here so we can put them in our vault, basically, because I don't use them. So we are going to be getting Ashima. We already have four of these done because we've been doing some of the fusion stuff. I actually am ahead of schedule. I didn't think I was going to be able to finish the first um, artifact ascension quest, but I did, and I'll explain that in a second, so we can get her now. Um, however, we are we did get hit with this little clan versus clan here that starts in 11 hours. So I won't be pulling her until tomorrow, basically. Uh, we want to get those points. We want to make sure we get as much as we can for clan versus clan so that we can get some, uh, some nice rewards. We also want to get clan coins. Um, I think the clan quests refresh tomorrow also. Yeah, so basically we'll be having our clan quests going tomorrow, which means our clan shop will refresh, and hopefully we get some books. Um, if not, then we'll be buying. Basically, order of, order of popularity here for me is books I will buy the first immediately. So rare books I buy immediately. Then usually energy if there's an energy-heavy situation going on, and if none of that's going on, I will buy her. All right. Sometimes I'll buy accessories. It just depends on my mood. Now, as far as the events go for right now for the fusion, um, so what we have done is is I've been doing – I didn't do any of these. Oh, sorry, I did Classic Arena. So that's done. So we got one from here. If it ever if it ever freaking loads. There you go. Um, we got one from here. Uh, I don't even know where I am. I'm place 16 because I stopped caring about it. Um, I do have a bunch of refills, which I'll probably use. Actually, let me – and then Fire Knight we didn't do at all. I didn't touch Fire Knight. Uh, so, so much for that. I was going to do it, but I, I changed my mind. Uh, and then Dragon Tournament will be starting tomorrow as well. Um, now, I, I may skip Dragon also, even though I really want the gear. Uh, here's why. So, Artifact Enhancement. I had leveled a bunch of gear to 15, and I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go for it because I actually had a ton of silver, and I'm like, maybe I'll get it. And what ended up happening was is that I got it to, I think, around here, maybe, or here, maybe. <laughs> um, with the I just had a bunch of gear to 15, and I just upgraded it all to 16 and got it to here. Now, so I was like, Shh, crap, you know, I was like, I was low. So luckily, the, the champion chase tournament's going, the, sorry, the champion training is going on right now. So I've been going crazy in here, using energy and getting energy, like all these events have energy. So I've been trying to do as much of these, as many of these events as possible to get the energy so that I can do champion chase, basically, is what's been going on. Because uh, that'll level up my heroes faster, and I want more energy so I can keep going. Now, as you can see, I'm almost to the first one. We have three days left, so, I mean, I'm, I'm way ahead, ahead of the schedule here because of how much energy I blew. Um, so I'm about to get this one, and I'll more than likely get this one. So I'm pretty much going to keep going with this until I finish getting these two. All right, so once I have both of these guys done, we're set. Now, because I don't have any six-star heroes that I need to do at this moment, we're going to start doing the five stars. So we will just start grinding heroes out to level to, to four-star, but I won't be doing that until I have the heroes that I need for the fusion. Because as of when we started this, this is actually the first time that I actually really prepped for a fusion. And when I mean prepped, it means I was ahead of the game when we started so i had basically an entire inventory of three star heroes see um as you can see i have a, a bunch more because i have a champion training again so what i did was is before any of this even started i just started saving my three star heroes all right and then i was able to basically just level these guys up i actually saved a bunch of my brews uh we're not talking a lot i had maybe 15 to 20 tops of each one uh some less some more so maybe a total of like 40 to 80 potions total. Like I didn't have a lot. And I literally just used those potions to boost these to level 30 super fast. And then I just upgraded them with the three stars to four. And then I fought in battles uh, through campaign to get them to 40. All right. So that was it was a lot quicker than having to do it by leveling up the, th the three star as well. So that's how I did that as fast as I did. 
Now I had 130 that I had leveled, so I just got him to four star. But as this second, I'm basically just going to be getting as many three stars as I possibly can. So I'm only going to be leveling up these two stars to get them all to three. And then as I get the Miss Scarms or Arm Scars, whatever his name is, what is this guy's name? What is this boy's name? Here we go, Risk Arm. As I get them, I'm just going to boost them real quick. All right, that way we can just get it done. Now we're only really trying to get two of them. I don't know if I'm going to go any any further. It really, I'm going to try to basically get as many as I can, and then. If I can't keep them, I'll just if I can't get an extra hero, I'm basically just gonna use them as skill books, all right, to get the next one. So as of right now, we're pretty much just oops, no, we want that. As of right now, we're just trying to get Ashima and we're trying to get Tromber. Trombor, Trombor, Trombor B boy, Mr. Trombor, we're trying to get. Uh after that, we'll be going for her. And that's it. I don't I'm not getting them all. So more than likely she will be a no-go. Uh as much as I like her, we're not getting her. Uh, the good news is, is they're all going in my vault anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Now, as far as what we've been doing, so I have done some, I've done the unthinkable finally. We've been trying to beat Spider-15 on auto for a while. Uh, we finally did it. So I finished that quest. I actually, all right, before we do this, I'll just give you a kind of an idea of where we, where we were at and how much I spent this, not like money-wise, but like gems this week, this weekend. So I went crazy, just to be clear. Now I had about 20, about 2,000 to 2,100 gems when we started the weekend. All right. Sorry, actually I had about 200 and I had 200 and, sorry, 2,280 is what I had. I remember that because I bought the thing. So what I did was I went to the shop I, unfortunately, I didn't have any EXP boost going on right now, which is murder doing a champion, I mean, a champion um, training event. If you don't have the, the EXP boost, you might as well not even do it unless you've got like 10,000 energy. And even then you're wasting your energy because it's, it's a waste. So I went in here and I bought the three-day EXP boost. Why did I do that? This is not something I would normally do. The thing is, is that all the fates aligned. And I wanted to make sure that I got done everything that I wanted to get done. And I wanted to start moving this series ahead so that I could get the spider done. So basically, I already kind of knew where it was going. I was almost there. Um, I just needed to tweak some stuff. So I bought this with 280 gems. All right. So that gave me a three-day boost EXP. As you can see, we're still at three. We got another one from one of the events. And I believe I got another one from another reward somewhere. So basically two days added on to this. But the problem was that it took I had to buy this in order to get those because it would have just taken forever. So I spent that. Then on top of that, we got a, we got a ton of energy from the missions. So I think I got about 400 for beating. Um, what is it? I think the spider one gave me a void shard or some gems. I think it gave me gems. And then the next quest after beating spider 15 10 times i got energy for 200 i got 200 energy there and then another 200 energy so i basically used about one energy refill to beat spider 10 uh, spider 15 sorry and then that gave me 400 energy extra because i moved into the next quests all right the next quest after the spider was the um clear the uh, stage 15 of the spirit keep so we did beat that one already so we got another void shard there Actually, we've got two Void Shards. One other one of the quests gave me a Void Shard. That's why I'm at 29 Void Shards now. So we're going to get another one of these. Not tomorrow, but Wednesday, we'll get another one of these. So that's good. And then we ended up ascending our girl, finally, to six star. So now she's fully booked, I mean, fully done. So she's 34,000 34, power now. We got her the banner, finally. So she got a nice 338 attack power boost, plus this. So her attack is actually looking pretty sexy right now. She's at 3,300. Uh, defense is, it's not great, but it's not terrible. Uh, crit damage at 128. So she's definitely doing well. Uh, she's a lot stronger than she was, and that's great. Um, so we got her done. Next one we will be doing on Wednesday will be Coffin Smasher. So we already have his piece set up, as you can see. So we got the 16, so we're good to go. So he'll be maxed as soon as... Um, that gets done, which is literally, it's just energy. It's not even hard. I just got to do it. Um, and then right after that, we're going to be going to Odachi and then hopefully Sunday we will be doing Broadmaw and we will have all the quests done for the spirit, I mean, for the potion keeps and for the hero ascensions. So finally I'll have my heroes done, which is great. So what I started doing now with my gold, so we have all these guys done. So he's 16, all 16 gear, all 16 gear. We got to do this. I might do the spider tournament later because honestly, 
I just need I need to just do spider. That's the problem is that I really need to just do spider to get some some better artifacts. She's missing an artifact and she has crap artifacts. So we want to get these built up. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be leveling these to 15, this to 15, uh, maybe this to 15. And I don't know if I really want to do this one. We'll see. Because um, I might want to do accuracy on this one. So hopefully I can get some during the spider tournament. I don't want to go too crazy with her. Because to be honest, I like her gear, but I don't like her her accessories at all. So I'm going to try and find some better ones. Um, she's done basically. So all 16. She's got all her 16s and she's got some good stuff. Uh, she's okay. I mean, she's got some gear I could probably replace, but that's not going to happen yet. Uh, she's good. I actually ascended a couple pieces for the quests. So we have two three-star pieces of gear. Uh, Kale is done. Valerie's done. Uh, Apothecary is done. She's done. She's done. <laughs> Everyone's done. Uh, I finished her. Yeah, I finished her also. I think I did this for part of the uh, for the part of the quest for the. I mean, sorry for not the quest for the uh, event. So I think I finished her out with that. So she's good. As you can see, she's twenty six thousand power now, which is nice. Um, I already started building the the 15s for him. So this is fifteen. This is fifteen. We're going to be doing the helmet. We're trying to only do five and six star gear unless it's something that I just happen to have on someone like the other one. I think her boot was what four star. And I'll still do it because it, uh, the reason it's on there is because it's the stat I needed. So we will be doing those to 16, but we're trying to do only five and six star gear if possible. Because uh, honestly, I've, I've noticed that the amount of gold that it takes, I mean, silver that it takes to get them to 16, you might as well just do the fives and sixes. It's not really that much cheaper to do the fours. If you get on an unlucky roll on a four, it could cost you over a million gold, I mean, silver just to do it. So you might as well just do fives and sixes. At least that way you know it's going to gear that you're going to keep and not you know push us to push to the side later on. Um, so he's looking pretty sexy now. He's at 25,000 power. Um, his attack power is actually really high now. He's at 3,000 for an uncommon, which is good. Crit damage not so good. Crit rate is very good. So we just need to get some crit um, damage on him, and then he'll be a sexy beast. Um, Broadmaw, I'm considering just re-gearing completely. Uh, I don't really like his gear. His speed is okay. It's not terrible. I think there's a few pieces in here that I need to redo. So more than likely his head and his glove I'll be changing. Uh, I do have a few pieces, but I'm going to wait till after the dragon to do that. Because I could use these, but I don't love them. Like this is a good piece because it has speed on it, but I didn't get any speed rolls on it yet. So I don't know if I really want to go to 12 just to hope for an extra 4 speed. I'd rather just have a better piece that has you know, 10, 20 speed on it. Um, so yeah, we're going to farm dragon for that one. And then we'll re-gear him. Uh, what else we got here? He is done. I already have his... Actually, I have his, his banner set. So we're going to get this to 15 probably. Just so that we get some extra HP on him. I want to build him up so he's kind of tanky. And his shield will pick up. Um, so we're good there. This we don't need accuracy. Uh, I think I was... This is accuracy, right? Yeah, this is accuracy. I was considering switching to this one, but I changed my mind. I don't know if I want to do it. Because I think I kind of like this one better. To be honest. Either way, one of those will be going to 16. Um, he's all done. So, yeah, we're looking pretty good. And then, obviously, I did him for the event. He's got some really sexy gear. I ascended this to got some defense, which is actually good for him. I would have rather speed, but, hey, extra defense on him gives him more attack power, and that's what we want. He's actually got a pretty good set that I got on him now because I put the regen set on him. I'll go into this more in depth. I'm going to be doing a separate video for the spider as soon as I'm done with this. Uh, this stream here. I'm going to do a separate how to beat Spider-15 like my other two videos. Um, and we'll kind of go into depth as to what I did and why I did it. All right. So we did all that. We did get a new hero this weekend. We got this guy, Ordinator, Ordinator, Ordinary Man with the beard. So we did get him. Uh, I did get a couple copies of some other heroes. Uh, I think Medicus, I got an extra copy. I mean, I pulled a ton of shards. I think I pulled like 100 to 150 shards. So I definitely got a couple of, you know, good heroes that are, I'm okay with and a couple of replacements. Um, but what we're going to be doing now is, is at this point, what we want to do. Because at this, we're going to be moving into the missions that I more than likely will have to really plan to beat and build some heroes around these quests. So we're in the home stretch, all right? We're, we've got, what, 21 quests left. All right, so one, two, three, four five six seven eight nine all right so basically 10 quests because this one whatever um we've got 10 quests at this point 
that are basically gimmies. All right, we can do them easily. None of them are gonna give us any trouble. This one just takes time. And luckily for me, I already have 300, over 300 medals for, for um, Great Hall 10. So we have to beat 200 classic arena battles, which basically means just from doing this quest, I'm going to get 400 medals. So I'll already be, when I finish this quest, I'll already be at about 700 uh, medals. So there you go, maybe even 800, because by the time I even get to it. So we're already going to be right at the point where we're almost going to be able to finish this. All right. So that's 10 quests. This one, more than likely, I should have no problem with. All right. I, I actually do this every day. I get 40 million on it. No problem. So this is an easy quest. So that's 11 quests that are easy. Now, once we get into here, this is, I wouldn't say easy. Uh, I feel like Fire Knight, I should be able to beat pretty easily. Dragon, I already beat. Ice Golem, I just need to make sure I have enough defensive heroes in there to make sure my attack heroes work okay. So I don't, this one's an, an up in the air. I'm going to probably start, you know, effing around with it to see where I am once the fusions are all over and the Christmas thing's over because I want to. I want to focus on getting my heroes leveled and getting the gear I need. Um, but we're going to start trying to see how far we can get on this. Stage 17 spider, I don't know. That really just depends on what heroes I have versus the affinity. We'll see how that goes. All right. So if that's the case, we've got 11 here, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. We've got about 15 quests that are pretty much doable and I shouldn't get I shouldn't get stuck for too long, especially now that I've been building teams for the level 15. I know that the affinity is going to really f with me at spiders on spiders den because affinity is a huge deal in that dungeon. I didn't realize how much of a how much of a breaker it was for your affinity to like mess with you. It literally never really bothered me in most dungeons. Stage 15 spider is the first time that affinity had a, an enormous effect on the fight. And it made it so that you could not beat certain things. So, and that's why I was stuck on it for so long. So, but now I figured that out and I understand the how to make it work. Uh, this one, I don't know. I'm slowly building my clan boss team. I think if I get a couple of new ascensions and get some new gear, I should be able to do this. What I would probably do is wait for a day where they give you maybe like where they give you like freebies, and I'll wait for a day when we have like where you get like two or three keys. Uh, given to us for some random reason, like an update gift or something. And I mean, I've already hit 50 million with my current team in one day. So I don't think this is not doable. I think it's totally doable. Um, we'll see how it goes. So that's whatever. And then we have what I would like to refer to as the oh shit section. This is the section that it's going to take me a while. Um, I'm going to start doing these now, just to be clear. Uh, I'm going to start planning around these dungeons. I'm going to start pushing these dungeons as far as I can, literally right now, to see which ones I can do on auto. And hopefully we can start finding teams that can maybe even, even if I find one that like finishes um, Dragon's Lair 10 times and I get stuck here, that's fine because at least I know that this mission is done. You know what I mean? We're, we're good here and we don't have to move forward. So I want to start pushing the dungeons now. Before it wasn't that much of an issue. Now it is. So we're getting to that point where Arbiter is within our reach. We just need to find the teams and the heroes and the gear to do it. That's it. That's all we got to do. And I'm sure I have out of the 120 plus heroes that I have, that I have a group of heroes that if geared correctly will get me through these quests. I'm not worried about it. It's just we got to figure it out. And that's the problem. So I know that Spider 20 is the same affinity that we have now. I feel like I just need to switch maybe one or two heroes out um, to do it, but I feel like Spider 20 isn't going to be as hard as um, – it's not going to be as hard as 15 because 15 was literally me trying to figure it out, and it took me a while to actually get it and to understand it, like the mechanical end of it. Now that I get the mechanics of it and what I'm looking for, it'll be a lot easier for me to build this team. The question is whether or not I can find gear that's good enough. So that's where we're at. We're, we're moving along. You know, nicely, 39, we're almost there, uh, but we're at the hardest part. <clears throat> so this is going to be the biggest stretch here to beat. I'm going to drink some of my coffee so that I don't start choking on air. Mmm, delicious. All right.
you would think milk helps. So that's where we're at on missions, and we're definitely getting a bunch of really good gems. We're going to be getting a ton of gems, I mean, over the next week. We're going to be getting – and that's why I spent so much. I spent about – probably about 500 gems this weekend, 280 on the um, – on the EXP boost, I probably spent about two or th actually I spent more than five hundred. Uh, I probably spent two or three hundred gems on uh, what was that energy refills so that I could finish certain things, and then and I was also doing spider at the same time, so I was, I was eating energy also. Um, and then I also spent gems on a couple of arena refreshes because I was like I went crazy, like literally went crazy with gems this weekend, <clears throat> but luckily. Because I got all the gems from these missions and all the gems from the from the uh, quests, I mean the events, like that's why I'm doing these events so hard because basically everything I'm doing is coming back to me. So I started this this little weekend with 2,280 gems. I'm already back up. I think at, at worst, I think I was around 1,800. I don't think I broke 1,800 this weekend, but now I'm back up to 2,000. And then by the end of the week, I will be getting, you know, 100 here, 100 here, 100 here. 50 here. So we're going to be getting 350. This one's going to take a while, but here you go. 600 gems that we'll have more than likely not too long from now. So that's good. And we get some more energy. Ooh, and another gem here. There you go. 2012. We've got tons of gems. So that's what we did as far as the weekend. Definitely blew through a lot of stuff. Um, and I guess now we'll go into what I, what I finally did. Now, I'm going to probably, I'm going to not going to go into depth as to what I really changed on the heroes until later. Once I'm done with the stream, as soon as I'm done with the stream, I'm literally going to pop right back on the stream and do a dungeon video. So for spider, and if I fuck it up in the middle of it, then I'll have to keep restarting the stream, but that's what I'm going to be doing. So just for the sake of this stream though, for the progression and you know, the day. So our best time was five minutes and 24 seconds. Now I'm going to probably reiterate this in the second video, but this is not a 100% team, not even close. Uh, actually, it is close. Um, I actually restarted it. So I'll do a quick overview, and then I'll do like more of the gear and how I did it on the actual dungeon video. So what? when I beat this, we did not have her at six-star ascension. We only had her at five. So she was about 4,000 power less. Um, I The first time I beat the spider, I believe he was level 50. So... He did have all his, his gear on him. I don't think all of it was 16. I think I had a few that were 12 and maybe a couple that I had at 15, 14, like random numbers. Uh, so basically the team that I wanted to use and I figured was going to win that I had said on my last couple of videos is the one that won. So, but this required a lot of tweaking of stats. All right. And th that was why it was a pain in the freaking ass. Now this team specifically, I don't know about right now, but when I beat it, they it took I beat it when I did the 10 times auto I lost I think it was four times I died and the reason I died was because I, I think I just need more resist on my heroes because the one thing the things that would stop me from rehealing would be if the spider does that big move and he would sleep like her and then she didn't have time to heal because she would skip a turn and then the spiders would start targeting her and then kill her so way to fix that one put more resist on your heroes um for zephyr i have an accuracy banner i am 100 percent switching her to, to resist there's no doubt about it in my mind she is going to resist banner she doesn't need accuracy i just put it on her because it gave me extra stats um her i don't know what i'm going to do i'm not fucking with her I, i'm very happy with how her stats are and she's good for another dungeon so we're probably not going to change her um she has a lot of hp now i think with the banner now attached so i think she should be good now um she never dies, so I don't care unless she's the, she's like the last person they target. So I'm not worried about her. And Armager used to get killed when he was like I threw him in there around like 30, I think, or 40, and he was getting killed because he didn't have enough HP. At this point, I think he's solid, um, unless something really goes wrong. All right, but he's he's good. He regens. He's he's perfect. So this is the set. Let's run it real quick, and you can kind of see what happened. And like I said, this is not a 100% team as of yet. I don't know what it's going to look like now because I haven't run it with him at level 60. and Well, level 59 if you want to get technical. Um, and I haven't run it with her having her banner yet. So this is the first time I'm doing it. Now, as far as the 
the tactical aspect of this game, of this battle, and what is working here. Now, this is not a conventional team. It's partly conventional. I know a lot of people will use um, Zephyr, and I know a lot of people will use uh, Armager. So essentially, the, the way this, this, this battle works is that turn meter reduction is the only thing at this point that will stop you from dying. And I didn't realize how much of a you know, threat it was until this fight. So here's all the things that are going on in this fight right now. So basically, Zephyr is super high defense. All right. Like we're talking like over 3000 defense. She's got lifesteal gear on. All right. We need we need her to keep rehealing because she is basically she needs to be able to take every spider's hit. All right. Killing the, the baby spiders at this point. It doesn't matter. All right. Killing the baby spiders does not matter. They she just needs to take the hits and not die. So having high resist on her will stop her from dying. The reason I had her die a couple times is because she would get too many poisons and then it would kill her like maybe two or three rounds in just because she didn't get a turn fast enough. Um, so that's why I had to put her, I, I really want to resist banner on her. Now, with what's her face, Spirit Host is basically the only one in here that doesn't serve a major purpose. She does take the debuffs off and she saves you a couple of rounds here and there. She does give you increased attack, which helps you kill him faster. And that's about it. And she stays alive. Like that's why I'm using her. She doesn't die. I mean, even in the arena, she doesn't freaking die. Um, but this could easily be replaced with somebody else. Um, Soul Bond, we use specifically because she has a turn meter reduction. And because, god damn, she's doing insane attack. Whew, I just saw 50 fucking K. Wow, sorry. It's the first time I've seen her in action. Um, <laughs> uh, what's it called? Soul Bond has the, the damage reduction. And she has the... Not damage reduction. What the hell am I talking about? She has the uh, turn meter reduction, and she has the um, attack that ignores defense. So she can do insane damage to make sure that the the spider keeps dropping. Now, same thing with Crimson Slayer, and they all have life steal. These all my damage dealers have life steal and my tank. Um, Crimson Slayer has a turn meter reduction, as you just saw. She has a one hit that does that, and she has her AOE. Now, at this point in the in the fights, the AoE, the only thing that having those AoE attacks does for you is kills a few spiders and softens the blows against your tank. So having one or two dead spiders here and there is actually good because it'll just make it so that you're not as much as in danger as you normally would be. And then Armager is literally just here to turn meter to change to lower his, the turn meter that's it so i've got three turn meter reduction specialists if this fight goes the right way what will end up happening is is you're going to have moments where see where this i would say optimal the spider should only take maybe five to seven turns total like the main spider that's it if you're if your spider keeps taking turns then that means that you're not going to probably beat them all right, it's just one of those suck things. All right, because you got to do a ton of damage between that attack and now the next attack. So basically, after he heals up from that point until the next heal, you got to do as much damage as possible. So making sure that you can kind of drop that turn meter every every round is what's safe. Boom, turn meter reduction. She stays alive. Turn meter reduction, and then um, Soul Bond is great if she goes off at the right time. Like if this say like he she gets hit a ton of times and her his um. His, uh, what's called, is all the way up. And she uses that. There you go. Oh, sh oh. of course it got resisted. Um, that's going to suck. That's going to hurt. Um, she'll actually drop his turn meter to zero. And that didn't happen that time. He resisted it, unfortunately. That doesn't happen very often. That's the first time I've seen him really resist her because she's so sexy. It's not because she has high accuracy. See, but that's the defense one. See that? 7,400. Not bad. Um, so hopefully we can get that turn meter going. But that's why the turn meter is so important. Because if you've ever fought Spider and you're like, all right, I'm winning. And then all of a sudden his HP goes back up to max. That is why you're failing. And now see, this is what's going on. See, this is going to be a fail prop. There you go. It was all because she missed that one turn meter reduction. That's what happens. So I have a feeling this is going to be a loss. If she didn't miss that, we would be fine right now. But this is why I was saying it's not 100% team. I think it was if you well now if you count this one it's a what fifteen we lost five out of fifteen so do your math on that <laughs> so it's like a sixty percent team right is that I don't even did I do that right now thirty three percent 
60, so 66%. We lost 33% of the time. I mean, who knows? We might even still win. Who knows what's going on? She's doing some insane damage here, by the way. There's a possibility, but I highly doubt it. Because as soon as he heals back up, we're not going to be able to keep the HP down now at this point, I think. Unless that turn meter just drops like crazy and all the spiders die over and over again. If she can keep the spiders dead with that AoE, then that could work. Let's see. I'm going to let it let it fly. Let's, let's just see. Let's see if she gets another... Okay. Turn meter reduction. Turn meter reduction. If she can get a turn meter reduction off, we're good. Oh, we're not. We are not good. So close. Why is he not healing right now? What is going on? Did I miss? I think there might be a glitch here where he's not healing. This should 100% be a loss right now. Why didn't he heal? Did the game feel bad for me? Am I the only one that notices this? All right, so... That's weird. Thank you, Glitch. Like, he should have healed that round. 100%. There's no way we should have won that one. All right, but either way, there you go. It was a win. Um, so sometimes your luck just goes the wrong way. So I think, like I said, I think at this point, building a team that has higher resist is the best option because then the poisons aren't even a factor anymore and you will only get hit with maybe one or two if you get targeted. And that's why all these guys get, you know, kind of wrecked is if they get targeted, immediately they're dead because they're not built to be tanks. They're built to do damage. Um, so that was a bad... That was actually a good and bad um, viewing of that fight because literally you saw how much one thing, literally her one freaking shot that would have knocked it down to zero would have been the win. All right. I'm going to call that a loss. We're not going to call this. So it's still a 66% win victory. I mean, 66% team right now i think once we here i'll go into their stats so you can kind of see even though i'll do it in the other video anyway oh yeah so basically she i think doesn't she has like 130 resist it's not great but she never gets targeted so to be honest resist on her isn't that big of a deal i do have one here where is it yeah i have this if i really really wanted to but i'm kind of using her for something else actually i think i why did i put her oh yeah because i wanted more attack i think on her yeah, this has more attack than the other one. Yeah, I was trying to get her some, some more um, attack power so she could heal more when she attacked. So that's why I left this on her. All right, but I do have a resist banner. If I ever have that issue, I can just throw this on her, and there's no problem. But she doesn't need it. Like I said, she's, she's the last one to die almost every time. Um, who else is in there? We're not using her. We're only using spirit affinity heroes. All right, so here we go. So they have all got their the, – she's got the lifesteal. Um, her resist is horrible. This is why I'm saying I might need to – not might, I do. Like, I need to kind of get her up to a reasonable... I'm thinking I'm thinking to be good in this... Okay, let's look at what... Let's look at Zephyr, because she's actually not terrible. Let's see. Zephyr is somewhere around 140. So I'm going to say, like, 150 is not terrible. Um, I don't have an exact calculator. If you want that, go on Hell Hades' site. I'm sure he has, like, the resist you need for every single fight in the game, uh, down to a calculator. But, um... <clears throat> At least I know that 150 has been reasonable. Now, I got this by... <clears throat> actually, that's actually low, considering I don't even have a resist banner on her. So once I throw a resist banner on her... This is HP, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, once I throw a resist banner on her, her resist is going to be over 200. She's probably never going to take a, uh, a poison from 15, at least. Later on, maybe, obviously. But uh, 15, she, she'll be fine. So with a resist banner, I think she'll be, she'll be the tits, if that's actually a saying anymore. Um... So, yeah, she'll be good. And then, like I said, she's in vampire gear. Uh, yes, this is all, you know, five and six star gear. So if you're not at that point, you probably aren't fighting 15 spider anyway. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, like I said, she's got all lifesteal gear also. Um, as of right now, I got her in attack gear now, which I, I, I'm, like, super excited about her damage. She was doing, like, I think 20 to 30 maybe thousand damage here and there. I think 40 was high. And then I just saw a 55k hit. I was like, yes. I love you. So now she's she's looking sexy now. Um, and then what's her what's her resist? Like I said, I think all the resists are terrible. Yeah, 87. Like these guys need to probably be somewhere in the, uh, I'm going to guesstimate, somewhere around 140 to 150 at least for the non-tanks. 
Uh, that would be the best case scenario. It doesn't mean you can't beat it without it, as you just saw, and you can beat it. It's just that it's gonna you're gonna lose a couple times. That's all. It's just gonna it's random crap. It's unfortunate, but that's how it is. Uh, luckily for us, we're not looking for a farm team. I mean, if you want an example, I mean, look at the uh, what's his name, the Scarab King. Scarab King. The first time I beat him, I had to. I couldn't even auto it. I had to fight him over and over again, and just hope for that one lucky shot where I, you know, got Jizo in there and he didn't die, and I ended up, you know, winning with like maybe two or three of my heroes alive if I was lucky. Now the second rotation that we got to it, because every time you beat it, you're getting another hero that can beat it. So like now that I'm building other guys, like okay, now I have him. Okay, he can destroy HP, so that's really good. Now we've got her. She can destroy HP, and now we've got, boom, Outrider. He can destroy HP. I actually threw him in, and I got my best time. I threw him in my team with uh, for the uh, Scarab King just to see how he would do. I forgot who I took out. I think I took Kale out, yeah. I actually got Kale the, the fuck out of there. I was like, get out of there. So Kale, I took him out of my team, and yeah, I think – actually, let's see. I think it, show, it should be there. Oh, no, it won't let me go in there because I can't fight it because I don't have any keys left. You dirty suck. You dirty suck bastard. Will it let me go in here? It will. Okay, good. All right, let's see. Where are you? Scarab key. I didn't do 90. I, I was going to try it again, but I didn't have any keys left. So I'm going to try it tonight. Yeah, so this is the team I threw in, and they got my best time. So one one minute and 10 seconds. They beat Scarab King, the early version. So, yeah. If you were wondering whether or not Outrider was good, uh, I guess he is. <laughs> Who would have thought that Taking out Kale, everyone's favorite hero, and throwing in a god darn uncommon. Look at his look at him. He's like really mad. He's like, yeah, that's right. I beat your time. What do you want? So yeah, he's uh not bad. I'm glad like I said, I'm glad I built him. I ain't mad at it. I built him for spider and he ended up being better for other things. So who knows if he'll live in the in ninety. We'll see. I'll I'll pull him into the next fight. And if that fight's quick, we'll see. Here, we'll look let's look right now what my best time on that one was. Cause I don't remember if I autoed it. I did auto it, yeah. So this one took two minutes and 37 seconds. So we'll see tonight if uh, throwing, taking him out and putting my, my boy. Actually, that's why, because also I put him in, I put him here, which gave me more attack so that they could destroy the shield faster. And then I took him out. That's what it was. Okay, so there's that's why it worked. So these guys all destroy HP. They destroy his face is basically what they do. I'm hoping they can maybe destroy the next one. That would be nice if they could destroy the next iteration. Because if they're going to be doing this much damage to him, then it, it's great. He just dies and like his shield goes down in three seconds. Um, and then you don't have to worry about it. So that's Doom Tower. Um, clan boss, clan boss. How many, when do I have a key coming up? Five hours? All right, we got time. We'll wait on that. Um, arena, we do have a bunch of gold bars. I was going to buy the skill book, but then I realized that because of the event's going on, this is like lifeblood. So I'm going to probably just wait until tomorrow for clan versus clan and buy the energy because I think that's a better choice. Uh, and then eventually I'll buy this. Maybe. We'll see. Because I'm at the point now where that's that's the thing is like right now I'm at the point where I don't need any more heroes. I mean, I'm going to need them. Obviously, I'm not stupid, but this I don't need any heroes right now. Like I have. What is this now? I think 18. Was it? Yes. Six. Twelve. Yeah, I have 18 level 60s as soon as I level him tomorrow to 60. Um, one level doesn't count. I'm saying it. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> so I have 18 level 60s right now. All right. So really at this point in the game, I have two choices. All right. And that is to keep building 60s, which does make sense. Or, which is what I'm going to do, because I always do the thing that doesn't make sense, even though it does make sense, is we need to start really focusing on these heroes because the thing is is most of these heroes can do everything that i need them to do in this game right now um it is highly possible that these heroes will be my level 20 dungeon heroes there's also a possibility which is more than likely i'll be pulling in heroes like sill because i'll be getting her this month like she's gonna get maxed immediately that's like that's like a one-off so that doesn't count Sill doesn't count um but everyone else, I mean, at this point, my best option is to farm gear over and over and over and over and over until I have so much gear that my vault is just overloaded. 
Like I should probably get my gear somewhere around 800 pieces. And when I say 800 pieces, I don't mean like farm it up so that I have 800 pieces that are good, that are, um, that are just in my inventory. I'm saying that as I'm going, I'm going to sell off all the four star gear and keep only the stuff that has the stats that I want, like specifically. Like right now, I only kept four of these because to be honest, attack gear, it sucks. I mean, I'll put it on my faction wars heroes. Like this is a good set for my faction war hero. It's got attack on the chest. We got crit damage on the gloves. There's speed on like all of his gear, literally all of it now, except for the chest. So if I got one with with um, attack and speed, I would immediately sell this one. So, but this is a good set. It's got speed, 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 and attack. So this could make a really good nuker for my faction wars heroes. So this set is being kept. All right. But every other there's there's sets that have 15% attack plus you know, crit plus this plus shield. Like there's no, re there's zero reason at this point outside of faction wars to use attack 15% on any of my heroes because it's, you're literally just losing an extra stat is what you're doing. So there's no point using this set at all. So this is a faction war set just because it's got good stats. Um, defense, same thing. I have a couple that are good. I, I don't even know if they're that great. Yeah. Crit rate. I think this is HP defense. Uh, HP, this one might probably go, but it does have really good defense. I mean, defensive stats, so that's why I kept it. Uh, and then speed. See, we want speed. We want speed on everything at this point. That's where we're at because we need 200 plus speed for all of our heroes going forward. Like that's that's how the builds are going to start progressing. Now, most of this stuff I've already built a little bit. Most of, some of this I might get rid of, uh, but I kept it for now because I have I need speed gear. Um, <clears throat> crit, we have a couple things. We have attack and defense, depending on the hero you want. So you always want one of each. Unfortunately, there's no speed, but whatever. This, we have the crit damage with speed, speed, speed. And then this is my awesome weapon that I had on my other hero before. So we've definitely got some good stuff. We want anything with speed or matching stat that we need. These two, I have yet to find a hero that I want to put them on. I don't know if they have speed. Yeah, yeah one, this one, yeah, they both have speed. So this is a good set. Um, both have crit or crit damage on them, which is good and attack. Yeah, this one has HP, whatever, but um, you can't HP is not terrible. Uh, so we just got to find a good person to put this on. I'm considering putting it on El Hain once I decide what gear set I want to put on her. Um, I've got a nice accuracy set here. That's good. This one has speed. This has speed. So that's what 14 with the things. 14 and 15. So that's 28 speed extra on two pieces of gear. Like that's, this is what we're trying to find. We want you know, we want gear like this when you start farming at this point. In the beginning, you're not going to be, I mean, you're going to look for it and you're not going to like throw a gear out because it's got no speed on it. I mean, because it doesn't have speed on it. But now we're, we're getting to that point now. We're getting to that point in the game where, you know, if I have, if I had an extra 20 to 40 speed on all of my heroes in that spider dungeon, that's a zero loss team. Like that's how much it makes a difference because they just constantly get turns. Um, and then also the other problem is that in like 20 and higher up dungeons, you have a speed requirement. Like you're going to have times, like if you're, if you have low speed on your team, you're going to have dungeon bosses that are going to get two turns on you before your, t your team gets one. That's what's going to end up happening. So speed is the only thing we need at this point. You have to, and I don't mean like, oh, four speed. I mean like you need a one or double roll minimum on your gear. So essentially during the artifact ascension um, event, which I kind of didn't do this time and I really should have, I did it a little bit towards the end because I was like, what the hell am I doing? This is a great time to roll your gear um, before you start trying to get to 16. Because if say you have like five, 5 million silver, you could just literally roll all the gear that you like. Don't just start rolling random shit gear. That's a terrible idea. But like, let's say we wanted this one. All right. I'm not going to roll it because I, 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 uh, you know, want to save it for the next artifact uh, enhancement, which I'm not going to do the second one. I'm going to do the third one because I definitely do not have enough gear leveled to do the second one. And the second one's in like two days, I think. So I, I don't think I'm doing the second one. I'll do the third artifact enhancement and save myself some trouble. Um, but yeah, just roll this to eight. And if it doesn't land in what you want, like if you're looking for more attack or if, whatever it is, it doesn't have to be the speed roll. I'm just saying in general, I would roll this for speed. So if, but this is a really good piece, honestly, outside of the HP. So honestly, I probably wouldn't sell it right now because for me, a five-star crit damage, like at what, 65% <clears throat> crit damage. I mean, I could give two craps about that at this point for this piece of gear specifically because I can throw it on one of my faction war um, heroes who's got four-star gear, and this will outshine anything I have on it just by having the four speed. But 
if you're looking to put this on a really good hero, all right, and you're at that point where you're really like just getting rid of old gear, yeah, roll this to eight or 12. I would say eight first. If you don't get one roll in speed, I would sell it immediately. And if you're selling this piece of gear, you get 14K. So yeah, you're gonna you're gonna end up losing. But on some gear, you might end up winning because you'll have some gear that'll give you like I've had gear like what is this one? Fourteen thousand. I've had ones that give me these are all the crap gear. That's why I forgot they're the one stats. Um, I've had gear that gave me sixty k. So it just depends. And that way, you're at least you may not gain money, but you'll definitely save a little bit of money because you're selling off crap gear that you don't need anymore. Like I have a bunch of stuff here. See, a lot of speed boosts now that are really good. So we've got a lot of good gear going on here. Um, but yeah, I got a bunch of stuff here. Resist. I don't. I, I didn't think I was going to use it. And I was going to sell it all. But to be honest, if I need one hero that just takes a ton of hits and wants a lot of, you know, this look, this crit rate defense. Um, I got HP. Like this is a great set. I have a bunch of great stuff here now that I can throw on a tank. And like this would be like, oh, I'm I'm almost about to sell this stuff. That's not good. Let's let's get out of sell. Why don't we do that? Um, <laughs> uh, so like this would be not necessarily Death Knight, but Death Knight. Like you'd probably want an HP regen on Death Knight more or something like that because he already has HP regen built into him. So if you have regen on top of that, he just doesn't die and he's a dick. But if that's not the option, you could just put him in this set or you know the one that has you know 10% defense plus 40 resist, which is better. You could put him in this gear and he just basically will resist everything that goes on him. So if somebody tries to drop his defense, nope. Someone tries to drop his attack, nope. He just shrugs it off. Um, we do have the heal reduction. Have decided what I'm going to do with all this, but most of these pieces are good. I think they all have either attack, crit. This one's probably going to go. I was rolling these to see if they would land in crit. I'm probably going to end up selling most of these because they don't have any speed. Um, so yeah, speed. Like I've been keeping anything. Look at this. This is a great roll. So we got 15 speed on that one. Uh, so yeah, we just start rolling them. Uh, crit rate is definitely something I would look for too uh, because if you get a three roll on crit, that could be better than the speed at that point because you might be able to say you have two pieces of gear that have a 20% or 25% crit rate. I mean, that's literally 50% crit rate. <clears throat> and then you could throw a crit damage glove on your hero and now you're just, you know, effing nuking people left and right. Coffee time! Aha. You wouldn't believe how dry your mouth gets from talking too much. All right, so I'm, I've been, I'm going to look up some guides because... This is something that I've been trying to think about for El Hain. Um, I'm considering putting her in her free set because I'm pretty sure that if she gets hit and she and she freezes the attacker, I don't know if that helps. <laughs> um, I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna look, and I don't know if that makes it makes her more of an asshole. But we'll we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna play with it, and we'll go from here. Um, we got a couple more pieces. I sold a bunch of these because I had a bunch of crap ones. I did get a couple from the last event. They're not impressive. Uh, this one has speed, but it's an attack. I don't know. This could be useful. I don't know. This one's probably garbage. Um, unless I put it on an HP, obviously an HP skill hero. So I'm not going to get rid of it immediately because you might have a hero that doesn't need crit rate. And that's, you know, that I forgot who it was that didn't need crit rate that I was trying to build. Um, I think it was, I think it was, uh, what's her face? Uh, Banshee, Frozen Banshee. I don't think you need crit for her for um for 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 uh, what am I talking about for a clan boss? I'm pretty sure you just throw poison on her. I think the crit. I'm pretty sure what they said was that the crit rate, like the things that I've been seeing at least online, is that the more defense and HP she has, and the longer she lasts, basically, which obviously makes sense. It's not like you know, like Dur. Obviously, the longer you last, the more damage you do. But um, all of her attack comes from her poisons. So having her crit will only get you like an extra what 17 to 14k per hit right but if she lasts an extra two rounds you might get you know about i don't know like 10 20 30 poisons who knows so it's kind of it's kind of like one of those games where you just gotta kind of find the balance of attack versus um crit versus poison i don't know what the actual thing is but i've seen her do six million damage in there so i already know she's great uh, we do have a savage set, unfortunately, from the uh, login of Rhonda, but this, this set sucks so far. Um, I only got one piece that was remotely good, and of course, it's all like HP and resists and garbage. But it is a six-star speed boot, so it's a win. I mean, 
I'll take the 40, 50, whatever it is. What is it? 45? Yeah, 45 speed. I'll take it. Uh, this one's okay. I mean, it's it's a it's a crap gear set. If I find someone who's an attack hero that has some kind of HP mechanic, then yeah, I could throw this on them. At this point, the shield and the boots are the only thing I want. And I need two more pieces, so I would probably just pick this and this and find a better glove and a better um, chest. Because HP probably isn't going to happen with a Savage set, uh, unless I get lucky. So I did level this to 50. That was my old piece from one of my other characters. So I did that recently. So we do have, we do have a bunch of HP destroy gear, which I won't be needing as much because I already kind of have a, a Scarab King you know, team set up with a bunch of heroes that can do it. But you might find someone later on down the road that you need some destroy HP for, or a specific stat you're looking for to beat something. So I'm not going to get rid of a lot of this stuff unless I start finding six-star versions of each one and going from there, like a speed, like a defense glove. You know, this would be good for um, Odachi. But I think I just switched his out. Um, this is an HP piece. I mean, I don't know when that's going to come in handy. Uh, it's got speed on it. It's not the best piece, but who knows? I might end up selling it. I may not. Uh, stun set. I still haven't farmed for stun, so we need to do that. I have one provoke set just in case I need it. That's kind of what I'm doing. I got rid of almost all of my counterattack gear, um, except for this one and this one. And this has speed on it, which is good. And it has all the great attack stats, which is great. This doesn't have speed. I wish it did, but I mean, these are the best pieces I had. I had some other pieces that had speed on it. But to be honest, I'm literally never going to use counterattack. Like, there's very few heroes in this game that I need to worry about counterattack right now. So I sold it all off because I didn't have anything amazing. If I had an amazing piece, like a six star, like, great one, yeah, I'm keeping it. You know, obviously I'm keeping it. But it's not a set that I really use too much. And there's not many heroes that I really like getting hit. Because I don't have a lot of tanks right now. I should probably get some. Uh, I have one set from here. This is a four star, but it has crit damage, so I'm keeping it just for now. So I, at least I can complete the set if I want to get this stat for something that's bugging me out. Really liking the reflex gear. I'm saving this because I want to put that on some of my my current heroes. I may end up switching them out because I have this, which is sexy. Uh, Six-star piece that is uh, speed. And then I have this one, which is speed also. So we're definitely going to be building a set for that. Um, cruel, I don't really have too much. This is garbage. I'm probably going to sell it. I was trying to use it for something else. It's not good. And then, yeah, we've got this. I've been starting to build up a set. This is probably going to go in the garbage because it's not speed. Um, I do have this one, which is good. We do have one set of deflection. Like this is all just over the last, you know, couple of weeks actually. This we've been slowly building up a collection that's nice. So I have some. I don't have any speed boots though. I don't even know why I still have this. I should have sold it. Uh, this is garbage. Like I mean, they're HP, so it's it could be useful if you're trying to build up the HP of a um, HP hero to like insanely insane amounts for some reason. Like if you want a really slow tank that has like a, a reflect damage or um, block debuffs or whatever it is that whatever it is that they do in their kit than just literally not putting any speed on them and just giving them a ton of HP. That's basically where this would come in. Um, probably a bunch of reworking I had to do here. I do have this piece, which is HP, of course. I wish it was defense. Um, I wonder if I have, let me see. I do not have any ores. I was gonna say I could rework it. Um, we, I'm slowly building this setup. I just don't feel like farming the, the girl, but I think there's like a week left in Doom Tower. I gotta look. Because I may have to just suck it up and farm a little bit so I can get a full set, and I'll be happy. Uh, this is not going anywhere. I haven't gotten a new set. These were the Forge Pass sets, so there's not much I can do here. It's kind of there's no reason to sell it unless it's you know you just have a ton better, and I do. But this set is so good that even this four star, uh, twenty two speed piece is worth it for faction wars because I can throw it on somebody to keep my team alive. So yeah, that's basically where we're at on gear. That's that's what we found over the over the weekend by farming, just nonstop freaking ice golem. Uh, it's it's been a lot. So, uh, yeah. So we've got some great heroes going on now. I'm very excited with where this is going. Uh, I can't wait to see what we got. I'm gonna get two more heroes from the event to move into our little fusions. Uh, so like I said, we'll get her tomorrow morning. I'll be getting him next. Because he's actually kind of badass, and we all like him with his big fat shield and his big fat axe and his big fat head. What is what's going on here? Is that freaking you out? Is that freaking people out? Is this making? Imagine somebody got like scared and freaked out from this. They're like, oh my god! All right, enough of this.
I don't even know what he does. It's like I'm going for him, and I don't remember what he does. Uh, what does he do? First hit, uh, 30% chance of placing a weekend and a leech. That's why I like him, because he has a leech. This is a great skill. You need leeches. All right, leeches are good for you. And then he's got attacks. All enemies removes debuffs. Yes, that's good. Uh, increased defense, obviously good. And ally. that's why I really wanted him, too, because the ally protection thing. But like I said, I'm not using him. That's the funny part. But I think you should use him because other people are smarter than me. Uh, yeah, that's basically what we did over the weekend. I mean, it's been it's been a great weekend for me, at least. I mean, I don't even care who I pulled. I'm at. Oh, yeah. Then we'll pull him out so you can see who he was. The, where'd he go? The guy that I got. I'm sure everyone's seen him because he's a rare. Like, it's funny. I get I get freaking excited about rares now. Like, most people don't. They're like, oh, it's a trash rare. He's food. I'm like, well, he's not. There we go. I got this guy. And I've been wanting him for a while. I haven't. I think I built him on one of my old accounts. And he's a pretty hard hitter. So, I, I mean, I just threw some random gear on him. I didn't want to go too crazy on him. I don't have a ring for him yet. And I got him to 40. So, we're definitely going to want to build him. And see what he can do because I remember him being really good. And I do need some good dark elves. I have him and I have Judge. I think his name's Judge. Is that is that him? I think it's Judge. Let's put him back in the vault. So yeah, we've got 102 in the vault and a hundred and we've got 18 out here. So yeah, 120. We are at exactly 120 heroes now. And then our reserve vault, which is about to get bigger. Oh yeah, I pulled this guy over the weekend. I got an extra one of him, so he went into my faction guardians. So that's good. So we're going to have two more heroes. So we're going to have the first line finally filled out with heroes that we can't touch or use. But eventually this is going to turn into like, you know, 20, 30 heroes that you know that you'll be, you would have been able to get had you played the way I play. And this is without literally, look, I mean, these, these, what, five heroes could literally change your entire game. Like not even joke. And that's not even a joke. Like, like these guys are game changing heroes. Like she'll, she'll solo spider basically. If you set her up correctly in, in in the revenge gear, like I just said, I don't like. Like if you set her up like that, she's soloing it by herself. I've seen videos of it; it's kind of ridiculous. Um, Death Knight, obviously, he's a he's a he's a jerk bag. Um, he'll definitely help you in your arena defense, and he'll help you in a lot of content. I mean, he, they have him soloing most of the dungeons, also on on stage twenty. So if you build him right, like I said, just look up the videos. I'm sure you'll you'll see it. Uh, Rhonda apparently is blowing up the charts, and she's doing really good. So just these three heroes right here could probably get you three times further than what I'm doing, you know, unless you're doing what I'm doing. Uh, she'll help you in your faction wars, getting your speeds and giving all your whole team for Shadowkin. So she's a, she's like a game breaker for that, which is really good. And this dude's like a clan boss dungeon soloer, basically. I mean, he's just poison, 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 poison and heal. So yeah, these are all heroes that you could have gotten if you've been playing the same amount of time as me and they weren't even hard to get, you know? So Maybe if you and if you start now, you know you'll get Rhonda at least, and you can start getting the the heroes that I am now currently going for, and you'll have a few extra champions that can really help you out. Because if I level these guys right now, yeah, I'd be immediately better, because I could probably bang these five heroes out very quickly. That sounds really really bad. I'm not banging any heroes out, just so we're clear. All uh, right, so yeah, that's basically it for today as far as the progression video. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick break. I think. Maybe walk the dog, and then I gotta do the. I'm gonna do a video on the dungeon for Spider, just so everyone can see the gear sets and everything else that I actually did, and the actual stat breakdown for why I did what I did. Because that's just like literally, it's like it's gonna be like a long video. I think I, I don't. I didn't want it to be more than 15, 20 minutes, but it might end up being that long just because it's it's really hard to explain the actual stats of each thing and why I did what I did. All right, so. Once again, Mobile Gamer Nerd here. I uh, will see you guys probably shortly or later. I, they'll all be up on YouTube anyway. So if you don't watch, then the world's not over. Let's just say that. All right. So thank you guys for watching and you all take care.